Hi, my name is Patrick. This specific video is to tell you the best material that you can prepare for a GMAT. I mean, there are many material which is there. I mean, uh, these are the common good materials that you can refer to. You can refer to additional materials based on your weakness and strengths. But this is a recommended material as far as uh, preparation is concerned. So let's look at it. So best material, the official guide. I mean, that's the basic and the best book that you need to refer to start with. So it has level 600 is what you can look at an official guide. You have different kind of questions. The questions are, I mean, if you're aiming for a very high score, then the question looks easy, but the fundamentals are very important because these are the type of question that will come in the exam. Not the same kind, but the fundamentals will be similar. So it's very important that you go to the official guide properly throughout from cover to cover. I mean, it's very important because I mean the fundamentals, what you do out here will be reflected in your scores and the exam, etc. So official guide becomes the Bible or the important aspect to start with. So official guide is a first level book because it is by the people who are prepared the G, preparing GMAT questions. You will understand the type of question that comes, you will understand the fundamentals behind it and that definitely helps. Next is the official content verbal review. So say 600 to 700 level of questions basically. So this will give you additional practice for and questions that are required for practice purpose. So you can refer to these again, all official. The reason I'm referring to official because these are from the people who prepared the you know material or the paper. So their questions will be similar to what is expected in the examination. So it's preferred that you refer to the official guide as far as possible. Then there's again the official advanced question. I mean, you're looking at a very high score, 700 to 800. They're a little tougher questions. So you can refer these so that you can practice on a level higher. So these are three levels of books, official guide, official content verbal review and official advanced questions is where you can refer to for practice. Okay. Apart from that, there is GMAT club, which is a varied kind of question in GMAT club at different levels, the old official guide questions, everything. So you have many, many questions that you can look for. So good source for practice. So if you're really looking for a lot of practice, GMAT club is one area where you can maybe refer to in terms of practice as far as possible. So these are the material that you can refer to for preparation at least. I mean, these are all official material purely because it helps to go through official medium because the questions are sort of prepared by them. So automatically it helps. Yeah, if you're weak in a particular area, you want specific focus, you can refer to other material as well. Also, they have official mocks, which are mba.com, six mocks. You can refer to that six mocks, uh, help you to write. I mean, if you're, because they are, these are the actual reflection of maybe your scores. Normally, if you write other mocks, they could be tougher or easier than the actual one. But the mocks given by MBA.com is more or less reflecting your performance in the actual exam. They say it will be plus or minus 10, 20 as compared to your uh, mocks versus your actual score. That's what it is. And good source to practice, good source for questions, help. I hope this clears in terms of the type of material that is required for preparation. So you can start with this. Then based on your scores in the mocks and the other, you can then refer to any other material that you want. But yes, you can start with this material to get familiar. Thank you.